Okay, let's hit some puzzles. And this is find the best move for white. Best move for white. Well, obviously I'm in check. We do have a discover check on their king with the rook. So we want to keep the bishop. So moving the king because it's in check. Oh, do you know? Hold on. Because we do have that, is it this? Blocking. Oh, we get the rook for free, you know. Because we have the check on the king. So bringing the rook here, check. He has to move the king. Oh, smooth. Excellent. And then we take, I'm assuming. We're not just going to hit it there because there's nothing else. And we just take. Brilliant. Nice. Give that a little, there's no tick in this one, is it? Just says continue trading. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit mean. All right, continue trading. Find the best move for white. Um, best move for white. So the rook's here, rook's here. King's on a dark square. Bishop's attacking the pawn, but this bishop is protecting. Rook taking the bishop, king takes, no, okay, oh, king takes, and then the bishop takes the pawn with a check on the king, gets the rook. So we'd be pieces up, wouldn't we? Takes, looks a bit fancy that though, doesn't it? Takes with a check, doesn't have to take the rook, could just move it out of the way, but he's down a piece. So we're thinking that they would take. Then the bishop takes with a check on the king. If the rook goes, well, okay, I'm just going to go and block. Then the bishop can still take because our bishops, I think it's that, you know. Oh, sure. Keep going, it's saying. So we did say, just bringing the bishop here with a check. Best move. Oh, what do you mean keep going? I'm done. Just take the rook now. Oosh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, one more. And then we'll have to play a game. Uh, best move for black. King's hidden away. Nothing really attacking it. Queen's ready to come maybe here. Oh, this looks a little bit complicated, doesn't it? Best move for black. Queen's got a greedy munch of a pawn, but that's not good enough. Rook's got a nice... Ooh, that's a bit of a situation. No, it's not. Maybe? Yes, no? It's a back rank threat, isn't it? So the rook comes here, attacking the queen. If the queen moves out of the way, then the rook goes and gets a back rank checkmate. So you'd think that the queen is going to say, I'm going to have to take. So it takes. And then we take with the knight. And we're kind of up the big gun. Yep. I think that makes sense to me. Okay, we're going to fire away with this one. No checks on the king, has he? No, nope. I think it's this. Yeah, and we don't take, we take with the knight. Yes, excellent. Let's go and play a game. Okay, just try out for some different opening styles in readiness for the tournament. And what do we have to do here? I think we have to do this, don't we? Because this is different opening for us. We like to stop the fried liver thing. They're thinking about it now. Okay, they're not doing it. Ordinarily, I would push the small pawn onto here, but I'm going to bring the bishop and attack the bishop. Just reversing my thinking. It's in a few days' time, the tournament thing. I know you're not supposed to change up anything before the tournament, but I think this is going to help me be a bit flexible. Let's just bring the bishop here. 
because you never know what the players are going to play. So I'm just trying to free my mind. Can take. Got this pawn protecting just in case this pawn pushes down. Happy? Yeah, let's attack the knight. And we don't have to move fast, but we may as well take if we can take and attack where we can attack. Let's attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Frowned upon by the evaluation, but hey, until they show me that it's weak, I'll keep on using it. So we've got them thinking, but there was a long pause there. So a knight coming here. He is looking to bring the queen here. He's looking for the cheap here across here. So we may as well not bother doing any of that. Let's just attack the bishop. Knight jumps into the space. And we're kind of back to familiar territory. You usually find that, you know, even the quirky type of opening, sometimes you end up in a position that you're fairly comfortable with. Well, depending on the quirkiness of the um, opening. So it's not taken and we just not automatically take them. There's no issues on that side. The only problem we've got is this knight can jump into these little squares. So what do we want to do? Do we want to stop the knight from jumping here? I'm going to simply capture. I'm not going to waste any time on that. Get the knight here attacking the um, knight, but now he's got a double dose there, so we're not going to do that. Bishop can attack the queen. I don't think there's any problems there, is there, because the queen is supporting. Let's attack the queen. Try and get the rook into the game. It's probably still going to try and squeeze in here somehow. I'm sure they're thinking of trying to get some pressure towards our king with this bishop. And the queen support him. Might even go onto a white square here. So the long pause is kicking in. So tactics are... Oh, yeah, exactly. Wanting to find that little bit of gold towards our king, Gary. Looking to bring the rook here to potentially give it a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to bring the rook here, try and get it to hear it if we can. Spoiling the show, but his knight does have a check on our king. So even if we came up with the rook, knight still takes with a check on the king. We take, he takes, then he's disrupting our pawn structure. But are we unhappy with that? Or do we just take the knight off the board and then bring the rook up and attack the queen? That might be better, might it? So I'm going to take the knight off the board and then bring the rook up and attack the queen. Rather than inviting his pieces towards our king area and potentially doubling our pawns. He's probably thinking of this, but let's go with the rook attacking the queen. And what's our idea? Maybe coming here to come here. Then the bishop's got a bit of an attack on here. Might be a bit flimsy, but rook's on in the file, bishop on in a diagonal. Can't be too bad, can it? It's got a pawn. Greedy munching queen. That gives us time to manoeuvre, doesn't it? Looking for this potential square here, but the rook will get taken. So if we come here and then he goes greedy munching, oh, mind you, his rook can come down. Right, so if we went and attacked, because the bishop's supporting, say the rook comes down. We're looking to come here. We've, that's a bit long-winded, but with the idea of the queen attacking here, I don't think that's going to work, is it? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Greedy munching. Coming here, it also stops the bishop from attacking our rook if we get it off. So does the queen take? If the que Yeah, the queen takes. That's. I think that's okay. So now we can come, hopefully, fingers crossed, and try and do something. 
there's no real threats on. No, it's blocking that off. Doesn't mean that it's blocked off completely. What have we got now? Do, do, do. So we've lost two pawns because we're trying to get an improved position on the board. How can we make it better for us? Mm -hmm. Sinking in here. And it's holding this. Get the rooks up. Seems a bit long-winded, doesn't it? This rook can go here. It's attacking this pawn. Or we could bring the queen uh, here to attack the pawn. Let's bring the queen here to attack the pawn. Still come down and attack the rook. It's got a two on one, that's why. If we come down, this bishop's got a two on one with the queen. Well, wow, that's an interesting spot, wasn't it? Right, so if we go greedy munching, we lose a higher piece. But does that mean anything in the grand scheme of things? That's where bishop, oh, we're blocked off, aren't we? Hmm, might have been too much fancy dancing there. No attacks on their queen. Could hit their queen, but he's got like two pieces on there. We've already got the queen defending. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everything's on a white square. That's on a dark square. Yeah, we're going to have to support with the pawn, aren't we? Piece for a piece, so to speak. Oh, we don't need to. We could just let the bishop take, and then the bishop takes. Right, so, are we swinging here? Then he can just come here. Ooh, double dose in it. If we go here, bishop takes, but then we've got an x ray through with our queen, with our rook. Okay, so bishop takes, x ray and through to their queen. What happens from there? Do we go here? Queen moves or something. Well, the rooks will attack the queen, obviously. What am I on about? Yeah, exactly. Right, so, okay, so we could take, but then he's obviously going to get the rook. So if we come here, then at least the rook exchanges, queen takes, and then it's going to be bishop takes. Queen's got an x-ray through, but it's a queen for exchange type situation. Hmm. Anything better? Could just take the bishop. Take the bishop. And rook takes the queen. Rook takes the queen. Rook takes the rook. I don't know, but I think we're still down, aren't we? We're still down. Bishop takes. With an x-ray through to the queen. They won't do it in this move order at all, but anyway. Rook takes our queen. We take his queen. We're going to be down a rook outward because then his rook takes without any trouble. Yeah, so that's why it's wrong, because we're, it's going to have two rooks and we'll just have one. Damn. Takes. 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 We'll have a bishop, though. We'll still have a bishop. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's wearing it. Queen takes. Rook takes, rook takes, king has to move. So we've got two rooks against a bishop, king has to move, bishop takes the bishop. So two rooks against the queen. Ooh, I don't think I've had one of those games before. Before, I don't think that I've seen players do it with like two rooks and probably maybe a knight and something else and they... They've actually won. I might have done many moons ago. 
I don't think I am I'm confident enough to have the two rooks again. Hmm. It might be one of those where it is. Okay. Let's I don't think it's gonna work, is it? Let's take. It's not gonna work. Two rooks against the queen. He's not gonna do it in the move order that I'm thinking. We've got to check on the king, so he has to do something about that. So the rook takes, then we take with a check, so that rook is safe. Then we take the bishop. We're on his queen. His queen comes down from, I don't know. I don't let's take with a check. And take the bishop. And that's all she wrote. I don't have anything else. Can't come here because his queen will take us. So I'm probably safe for just coming all the way back, aren't I? Yeah. Well, we'll have to see how this pans out, this one. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I think, ooh, I think I've got a bit fancy dancy there. Has he got some sort of fork? I take the pawn. Then he does some attack here. Take the pawn. Comes here for our rook. Move the king. Takes the pawn with a check on the king. Yeah, that'd be a bit annoying, won't it? But that's what's going to happen. There, what do I do next? It's coming for the rook, so we could double up. So the pawn's not going anywhere. Um, I feel like I'm falling for something, but let's continue with that. Comes down for this rook, something or the other. Okay, so he's finding the gold, he's finding the gold. What do we do? We're going to get back ranked or something, so we need to just move a rook, keep it simple. Then he comes down for the rook. Then we come that down with our rook. I think it's as simple as that. Don't want to get too arty, do we? I think we've already done art to death here. So we're just going to go simple and protect the pawn. Interesting game. And come here and attack. He goes up and attacks the rook. It's a bit too easy for them, isn't it? I think we come back down, dude. Come back down. Get the king across. Push the pawn. Push the pawn, then he can't go here. Then the rook, when the rook goes here. Yeah. Let's push here, then if we go here, we can't go here to attack the rook. It's going to go and attack the pawn. It can always go there though, can't it? Oh, has he got me checkmated? He's moving fast. He's moving fast. Oh no, I better fall for something here. If his queen gets this, then we can do this. Queen gets this, we can do this. Oh, hold on. If we go there, then he goes there. Then we have to think about moving our rook. That's when he goes in for the kill. That's very clever. So we probably need to do... Oh, we can't do that. Just bear in mind, our king is being x-rayed. So if we pushed, it, even, it makes it worse, doesn't it? Because it gives him a gap still. He can still go for it. That's very clever. Ooh, no, no point in rushing that then, is there? Right, well, what can we do? Can we move the king across? It's just going to put a check on. And if we move it further across, it's just going to go take there. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have let this pawn get all the way down. If we just take the pawn, then there's no longer any 
checky type fret type things. I think it's take, just taking the pawn now then, isn't it? Let's just take. So then this can come on support and he'll have to work his way around or her way around here to here to here. The king's coming down, so we could take the pawn now. Queen comes here, but there's no mate for it. Then we can come across. Ooh, I've got to check on his king though. So I'll check on his king to win a tempo. Bring the rook here, attacking the queen. Yeah. Supported by the pawn. Oh, shabadi la. You're having a laugh. Have we done it? Oh, we, he's going for like a stalemate position. He's got, he's offered a draw. Don't tell me I'm stalemating. He's got that pawn that can move. <gasps> and they've resigned. 